Hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian and today we're going to be looking at an action figure from the toy line based on this movie here, Congo. And uh, it's a good movie, it's a movie I enjoy. Um, but if you only know the story of Congo through the film, you owe it to yourself to track down the book by uh, Michael Crichton and give it a read. Uh, because this is very much a dumbed down version of the book. But... Uh, that being said, the movie does have three things that the book does not offer. It has uh, Bruce Campbell, uh, Ernie Hudson, and a talking gorilla. And uh, so you can't beat that. Now, granted, Amy the gorilla, who we're going to be seeing in just a second, um, does talk through sign language in the book. But the novel brings that one step further and gives her a talking backpack so there's amy how you doing girl don't be shy so this is uh amy as she's seen in the movie um she has this communicator pack here that straps to her back and connects to her hand so it can interpret hand motions and a voice comes out and amy can speak tends to say things like, Tickle Amy, Amy, good gorilla. Uh, Amy is very, um, very full of herself. So this is, um, her action figure from the Congo line. Um, you know, Congo, the toy line is very much like Congo the movie. Where, um, Jurassic Park came out and was a huge thing. And movie makers were like, well, what else can we do? What else has Michael Crichton got? Did he write anything else with dinosaurs in it? No? Okay, what did he write? Killer monkeys? Yeah, I, I guess we could do that. And so they put just as much money in it as they had to <laughs> and uh, made their movie and um, knew that it wouldn't be as big as Jurassic Park but figured it would sell anyway just because of Crichton's name. And um, and, and as with the movie, so with the action figures, was released by Kenner. Um, and, and they put very little effort into the Kenner or into their uh, Congo toy line. So here's the backer board for that. You'll notice right off the bat, uh, a couple of the vehicles here are just uh, repainted um, Jurassic Park vehicles. And um, the action figure for Kieran Ross seems to be a combination of um, Ellen Ripley. That's definitely her gun. And um, maybe a little bit of um, Dr. Sattler from uh, Jurassic Park. Anyway, it's, it's pretty pretty um, lazy uh, toy line. The figures don't do anything. They don't come with any accessories. I mean, the humans come with some weapons. But, um, but the apes themselves, she comes with her backpack. And that's all she comes with. The, uh, the killer apes don't come with anything except their own killer attitude. Uh, not counting, of course, the two deluxe figures. So uh, what does she come with? Well, as I said, this backpack here is removable. It clips on. Um, just kind of slides into place, but it holds in very well. Uh, this just snaps onto her wrist. Um, she can't turn her head. Her arms can uh, spin around to the back of her knees. Come back. She has a little bit of a pivot at the waist. And then once you do that, her backpack slides off. Come on, Amy. Keep that on for me, would you? How are you going to communicate without your back? There you go. And uh, she has one hand here amusingly doing sign language, which, I mean, is appropriate, but I, I can't tell if she's trying to uh, shoot webs or if she's all like, uh, you know, uh, Metallica rocks! But, um... She got one hand here in a classic knuckle position for walking around. Keeps her from falling. And the other hand doing sign. So, uh, as far as comparisons go, size comparisons, um, I don't have any of the human figures from the line because, quite frankly, they're really boring. Uh, here she is next to a Jurassic Park figure. And uh, the size comparison is pretty good because, like I said, this is still from a Kenner line and they did use Jurassic Park bits to make the line. So... That's uh, about how she would stand next to a figure from 
Jurassic Park. Uh, here she is next to Gorilla Optimus Prime from um, Transformer Cybertron. Just for fun. And uh, here she is next to Pericles from Planet of the Apes. The Tim Burton version. And um, that's actually a pretty good pairing. I think uh, the size between a chimp and a gorilla, I think that scales very well. In fact, he communicates through sign too, so uh, they might make a cute couple. And uh, just for kicks, here she is next to the Skull Island King Kong. Uh, she's got a bit of growing to do. Boom. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all we really have to say for uh, Amy from um, the Congo toy line put out by Kenner. Um, she doesn't do much, and um, you know she's she's a, a nice solid piece, but um, you know aside from from that, you know if you just want a random teched out ape, uh, she's she's your go-to girl. Um, otherwise, as I said, with the humans, um, these figures are a bit boring, a bit drab, they don't do anything, and, um, you know, paint details aren't even all that great. Not terrible, they're just not great. She's not a great ape. But I might take a look later at, um, some of the killer apes from the line, because, uh, the bad guys are always more fun. So, this has been The Starving Martian, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a good one.